Hello all, Zysoros here, just bringing a UA tutorial on how to make an autonomous fast firing plasma cannon. Um, as you can see here, I've got a plasma cannon, a bunch of flux capacitors, they give faster firing speed, so you're probably going to need them. Um, I've had to use dev tools to get this many, but that won't always be a problem. Eventually you'll be able to get these without activating dev tools. Um, anyway, for a, an autonomous structure you're going to need a camera, like this one here, um, and as you can see, if I move this into the camera's field of view, the cannon starts firing at a fairly ridiculous rate. Um, I believe this is maximum, um, the maximum physical speed, it might not be, depends on if the um, flux capacitors down here are charging quick enough. Anyway, let's look at the code. Now, this obviously looks fairly scary at the moment. Uh, <laughs> this is because there's a little bit in it to do both parts. Um, the autonomous part is fairly simple, right? You got a camera that's hooked its activity up to a multiplexer. This multiplexer just makes the amplitude and offset non-zero and thus it starts oscillating and thus firing the, ca the cannon. Um, that's all you need for autonomous, right? If you've already got a cannon that fires, that's fairly simple. Um, however, to get the fast firing cannon, it's a bit more difficult. A few people would have already done something similar using a single multiplexer with just parts on it. Um, that'll get you or toggles maybe either way will work um, that will get you the swapping of the flux capacitors that's what you need to do it to put it in as an energy source um, I probably could have made this a little simpler using toggles instead of multiplexers but I like it this way um, so what it, what it ends up doing is sample here is when it fires. Inverted is when it's not firing. Right? It'll send a 1 when it's not firing, provided the multiplex is activated. And that goes down here, charges all the, capaci uh, all the capacitors, so they have power in them. Now, other than that, we have this going off down he over here and down here. What this does this is just a binary counter, this bit here. Right, so it basically go, counts 0, then 1, right, out of this one, and it'll just output that down here, which will select between these four, so one of these two. Then, when it gets 1 again, it'll go through and it'll activate this one, right, 1 from here and not from here, because this will be a 0 at that point, which will give us 2 which is stored down here and sends across up, up to this multiplexer. Right? So it'll go 0 and pass this one up, 1 and pass this one up, 2 and pass this one up, and then 3 and pass this one up. And when it's done, it'll go back to 0 and pass this one up again. And thus, it'll constantly be firing flux capacitors. Um, it'll constantly be firing off the power from different flux capacitors which by rights I'm pretty sure flux capacitors fire at 4 shots per second and the clock and the clock speed's 32 it takes two operations to fire a cannon so the maximum speed is 16 which you should get from four flux capacitors so I do have a little bit of a problem if it fires for long enough I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you this because it did take a little bit but you'll notice after a while it will start to drop shots um, I might not be able to actually showcase this though anyway I'll leave this running but that's it for how this works um, if you have any questions or if you want to under if you want me to explain this binary counter down here a bit better um, I can do that but 
I don't actually know. I don't actually know what you would be having issues with. Um, if you're not familiar with logic gates, I suggest just copying this. See this saw gate passes to itself. Right. So does the other one. Just make sure there's a not gate in here between here and the end. The saw and the end both get from the inverted here as the end outputs to the saw and both saws are outputting to the two layers uh, like are outputting to one of the two layers of multiplexer selectors um, that's all you need that's all you'll need to reproduce this um, yeah the, you, I don't think this is going to work quick enough uh, but when I had this firing for a while when I was still putting in the code for the detection um, it was just constantly fired and eventually one of these flux capacitors would lose power for a little bit and take a bit to charge up again which meant it dropped every one in four shots anyway that's it so this is me signing off see you next time